Hi, welcome to another online business logic tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about creating content with audio. And audio is by far my favorite way of creating content for you on the internet. The reasons for that is number one, it's got a high perceived value. Secondly, it's very easy and very, very quick to create. Okay, it doesn't matter how fast you are at typing, chances are you can talk faster. And thirdly, it's great for repurposing existing content. So that could be, for example, an ebook or a series of articles that you've written in the past. You can sit down at your computer, plug a, plug a microphone in, read through the content, and all of a sudden you've got a brand new product. Okay, and the best thing is it doesn't even have to be your own content that you're repurposing. Okay, you could buy uh, PLR rights to an existing product, uh, be it an ebook, a series of articles, a course, or something like that, and you can repurpose that into your own product or your own bonus that you can use time and time again. Now, there's three things we're going to need if we're going to create content via audio. First of all, is a microphone. And there's two different types you can use. Basically, the first type uh, mounts on a stand on your desk, and the second type is what you see me wearing just now, which is a, a headset mic. I prefer a headset for two reasons. Firstly, it tends to pick up a bit less background noise from uh, mouse clicks and keyboards and, and knocking the desk and that sort of thing. Secondly, it allows me to um, rotate my head around and move backwards and forwards and give me a bit more freedom without it affecting the volume of the recording, which is quite important. And the second thing we're going to use is a piece of software, or in, in fact, two pieces of software. I'm going to teach you today how to use a piece of open source software called Audacity. Now, if you're watching this uh, video on my blog right now, then you can click on the link which is down below the video, and you can download that software straight away. If you're not watching this on my blog, if you're on YouTube or somewhere like that, then head over to online-business-logic.com, and not only will you find the link to the software, but you'll also find the rest of these, uh, these tutorials. Okay, the second thing you're going to need is the MP3 encoder that goes along with that. Again, the link's down below. They're both free to download. So grab them both, install Audacity, and we're good to go. Okay, so if, you have, uh, if you've downloaded and installed Audacity, this is the screen that you should see. Uh, at the top of the screen, we've got our transport controls, our meters, and our editing functions. And then this main gray area of the screen is obviously empty at the moment. That's where our audio tracks are going to be. Now, before we can jump in and start recording, we just need to set the program up quickly. Um, so we go to the Edit menu and Preferences. And start with Audio I.O. on the left here. First of all, we want to check that we're on a single mono channel. Uh, by default, it probably goes to stereo, but we're only using one microphone, so a mono channel is what we want. And secondly, we need to set the recording device. This is basically telling the computer which input we're using for the microphone. So you can see in this instance, I've got the Realtek High Definition input on my machine. Um, if you've got multiple options here and you're unsure which is the one that you've got your microphone plugged into, then just try one. Okay, you're not going to break anything. Give it a try. If you try a recording and you don't get any sound, chances are you've got the microphone plugged into, the, into a different input, so try the others until you get it right. Um, if you're sure that you've got the correct input or you've tried all of them and you're still getting no sound, then two things to try. First of all, check that your microphone is on. It might sound silly, but most microphones do actually have an on-off switch. Uh, and if it's off, obviously you're not going to get any recording. Uh, and secondly, um, make sure that the cable is plugged in all the way. It's very easy on some microphones I've found to, for it to feel like the microphone's plugged right the way into the sound card, but it hasn't quite gone that last millimeter. And if it's not plugged in, you won't get any sound. Okay, so once we're done on audio I.O., we just move over to file formats. And what we want to check here is that we have make a copy of the file before editing selected. Again, by default, I believe it's set to this one, read directly from the original file. If we have it set there, it's too easy uh, to make mistakes that we can't correct afterwards. So make a copy of the, original, of the file before editing, and then we can click OK. And we're actually good to start recording now. So let's give it a quick try. The record button is the big red one. So I'm just going to click there. And if I say a few words, first of all, you'll notice that the microphone meter is moving. And secondly, we get a waveform. So it's definitely recording. Um, and this is typical of a waveform from recorded speech. What we've got at the beginning, we've got a section which is which is quiet. That's basically um, silence before I started speaking. It's not entirely silent, actually. Otherwise, it would be a perfectly flat, flat line. But what you get there is just background hum, background hiss. And then this is the actual speech here. So if I just uh, if I just click play. OK, it's quite quiet. You're not going to hear that coming through because it's coming through my speakers back into the microphone but I can tell you that that is working quite you know quite well okay so at this point if I want to I can just go save uh, we don't want to actually save this though we want to export it as an mp3 now 
if you did what I told you to do at the beginning of this video which was to both download Audacity and also the MP3 encoder this is the point where you're going to want to use it so we click on export as MP3 I'm just going to call it um, test2 click save and the first time you do this here we go it's going to say that um, that we need to use the lame library and uh, would you like to locate it now so I'm going to click yes and this is where I saved it to so I'm just going to click open and OK and there we go that's actually created an mp3 uh, now obviously we could literally do that that's absolutely fine but probably we want to tidy these files up a little bit before we start exporting them so I'll just teach you some of the real basics of, uh, of editing this audio first of all this section of silence at the beginning we probably want to get rid of that and it's literally as simple as selecting with the mouse and clicking the delete key okay so now our recording is going to start from where it actually starts if I just click Z um, um, undo to go back uh, other things that we might want to do is we might want to fade in or fade out so for example if this was the end of the track I can select here I can go to effect fade out there we go and you can see that it's created a fade out for me fade in works in exactly the same way um, another very useful thing that you're going to want to do is when you've finished editing your recording you've got the whole thing there there's probably going to be a lot of this background hiss okay so to make the make it sound a lot cleaner especially in the gaps between words uh, what we can do is we can select an area which is empty or an area which is pure hiss and no talking go to effect noise removal and then click on this get noise profile okay so what that does is actually profiles the microphone in the room that you're in and then if I select the entire track and go effect noise removal and click remove noise now watch this here there we go that's gone to a flat line now you're not going to hear that if I click play so there's no point because the video editing software that I'm using actually has its own noise removal built into it as well so just give it a try once you're done with that go to the file menu click uh, export as mp3 and there we go in five minutes flat we can actually turn an ebook um, a review or an article into an audio product okay so that deals with creating a very very simple recording but just to give you a few tips to help you out uh, a couple of slightly more advanced techniques that are still very very easy to use so just delete this track for a minute and uh, give you an example of what tends to happen especially if you're not used to uh, talking into the computer and recording your own voice uh, what will happen is you'll cough and you'll stutter and uh, the dog will bark and all sorts of things will go wrong and it's very very tempting to hit stop and go back to the beginning and start again and what will happen is you'll waste absolutely ages doing that so um, here's the way that I do it if I hit record and there I am reading away and, and creating my audio product and all of a sudden <coughs> there's a cough or the dog barks or something like that rather than hit the stop and go back to the beginning just carry on okay um, you, if you're doing a long recording rather than carry on on the same track here's what I do is just stop and then hit record again or start a new track okay let's just stop that I did actually make a mistake what I want to do is start at the end so if I hit this fast forward button and then hit record it will start the recording from where I left off but on a new track and the reason for that is because it's now very easy for me to realize where the problem was if I scroll back I know that my cough was just be before the start of this new track so if I start here <laughs> okay so I can hear that that's where my cough was I'm just going to delete that cough and now I'm going to select all of this track here that came after it and I'm going to cut and paste it up at the end okay and there we go I've fixed my cough uh, which is a very very useful technique so don't worry if you make mistakes make as many mistakes as you want just hit the stop button start recording on a new track come back and edit it afterwards um, and we can actually use exactly the same technique for layering tracks on top of each other which is really good if you want to have um, some existing pre-recorded audio brought in okay so it might be an interview you've done with someone else or it could be some music that you want at the beginning and the end or something like that that you want to fade in and out so have a play with it there we go that's creating audio um, using audacity um, the next video I'm going to do on creating audio we're actually going to use a different piece of software and we're going to record interviews live using Skype over the phone which is a great way and even even faster way perhaps of creating audio content than this hope it's been useful don't forget to head over to online-business-logic.com for more great tutorials